Hello everybody and welcome back to the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Today we're going to continue getting the town ready for all sorts of monster hunting shenanigans with guild quests. But first, I found out what the problem was. Um, so last time I was getting agitated because I didn't have villager requests from the chief's son. Well, apparently, they've moved it around. Uh, on try, it used to be that all the villager requests would be right here. And that is no longer the case. You actually need to talk to the one who's actually making the request. So we're going to talk to the artisan real quick. Look at that. Villager requests right there. So he wants iron ore. He only wants one of them. We have three. There we go. You have some iron ore now, buddy. Armor craft. We're already wearing leathers. We'll probably go with uh, hunter gear next. Chainmail. I'm a big fan of the hunter gear because it's got psychic on it. Makes finding the wyverns easier. It's chainmail, health, hunger, and combo rate. Oh, that is useful. Some of that stuff we don't even need to just even craft. Some of it we can just... buy straight up. We may wind up doing that, but I'm not going to worry about upgrading any of my gear until we're going to be hunting a great jaggy. Alright, so his request is taken care of. Who next? Who next? What's up, Junior? Okay, time to go deal with the farm. Oh, we can turn our extra iron ore into resource points, but we're not going to. Let's go check out the farm, see what they need. Getting your farm upgraded is, I feel, the most important part of getting the game running smoothly so that you don't have to actually do tons of farming. <laughs> oh, we can change your name? Um, what are we going to name you? Apricot. <laughs> Asparagus, spice, paprika, salsa. Where is salsa? I had my uh, feline companion in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite named salsa. Is salsa an option? No? Damn. You are now paprika. He took the change very well. Of course, he is a cat. I don't think cats really care what you call them.
So, level 1 fields, level 1 shrooms. You can only be cultivating uh, one crop at a time for each cat that you have. And try you could have as many as three cats. I don't know if that's going to be advanced at all. So let's have paprika. Grow us some herbs. We do have some dung. Which will increase the number of herbs that we get. And... We can also have him work on it for three cycles. Uh, one cycle is leaving the town once to go on a quest. So we're going to have him work on it for three cycles, and then when we come back, there should be a bunch of herbs available to us. We've got plenty of resource points to spend. And now you can see him work in the field. I think I have roofers across the way from me. Oh, okay. There's the chief. Like, nobody has anything to say. <laughs> I'm sure I will figure out the earthquake mystery. You're more tenacious than a Kelby in heat. Wow. I was not aware of that information about Kelby. Alright, I guess we're going after fish. He gave us a harpoon. We're going to go grab a couple more. No, he gave us two harpoons. Three harpoons? He gave us three harpoons. And then we bought two more. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to swim. Uh, we can use this sushi fish that the cat gave us to generate resources. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, man, he's only worth... No, never mind. <laughs> it's not even worth enough resources for me to bother using it on that. Let's uh, bring some meat. We'll just cook it up when we get started. It's time to get our feet wet. Ha! That's terrible. I apologize. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I'm going to let you guys live today. We have enough resources, and quite frankly, I'm tired of the tutorial. Fellas, though, you will not escape my wrath. Because I'm going to do a little bit of cooking before I go for a swim. Okay. 
Um, honey. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some honey, too. Ah, let's cook first. Max our stamina out. More snake bee larva. Fantastic. I think it's um, snake bee larva and firefly. Makes the goldfish bait. Even more snake bee larva. Wonderful. Uh, we'll do blue mushrooms next time, or, uh, next farming cycle. Look at all the jaggies. What's up, guys? Ow! Quick carve. Yep. Yeah, let me. It gave it to me. You just attacked your friend. Ah, Jaggy hides. There we go. Not sure when I'm going to start going online to do farming. Farming of monsters for their hides and such. Maybe with the Great Jaggy, maybe with the Kurupeko. Really depends on how quickly I need to get all the items. It's weird there's nothing in here. Oftentimes you'll get um, felines in this area. And there's usually like an herb gathering place. No such luck today. Oh, was I right? Is this a gathering point? Yep. Oh, frog! This is where we can get frogs. Would you believe I went through the entirety of Try without hardly ever getting any frogs? I really should have. It would have made hunting uh, Gobble a lot easier. But it's definitely going to make hunting Plesioth easier. Plesioth is all about the frogs. Oh my gosh, how many worms can I gather here? You know what? That's enough. <laughs> That's really, really enough. I cannot remember what I'm supposed to be doing. One molid. What's a molid? It used to be that you could use ZR and ZL to swim up and down, and apparently that's been removed. <laughs> Try to not drown. Thank you. It is really, really hard to drown in this game. Like, impressively hard. You have to try to drown. Or just really 
lose track of what you're doing. Okay, so that's an Epi Auth. Hydro hides. I think we're going to need that for the Ludroth gear anyways. Molid, Molid. I think Molids are the big... Just regular fish? They're not the sharks. They're apparently not these guys. There they are. That's what we're looking for. Mm. And we want to harpoon these. If we kill them with our regular weapon, we're liable to damage them too much to get carves. So we're just going to swim up right next to him. And hit the item button. What's up, dude? <laughs> dude, I call you Junior anyways. Life crystals? Oh, man. I didn't realize you guys gave life crystals. Life crystals? Big fin? Wow. Should probably spend more time on those in the future. I should have brought... Didn't. Uh, I didn't bring pickaxes. Bah. Okay, so we can return straight to the village whenever we want. Uh, that's one of the things Junior told us. Thank you. Yay, armor sphere. We can use those to upgrade armor. Do I have new options? No, I don't. What is this roggy thing? Bah. Nope, you only sell Hunter's Bow 1. Okay, what kind of armor do you have? You have Hunter's stuff. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. 
Might just wind up having to buy it right out. Yay, the guild sweetheart has a message for us. Fantastic. Hunt report. Forecast. Okay, cool. Um, one of the things that we want to look out for is Aptonoth breeding. Aptonoth breeding will allow us to get a jumbo bone from the really large bull Aptonoth that shows up from time to time. I think we've only been gone for one cycle, so I doubt our resources are ready yet. Yeah, two cycles left. More money. Base camp is up and running. We should be able to take on guild quests now. Fantastic. <laughs> I love the dialogue with her. <laughs> they want us to collect mushrooms. They don't trust us at all. So that's it. Uh, harvest shrooms. <laughs> that's our first quest. But first, we're going to put stuff away, and we're going to save. I don't need the harpoon with us. I don't need raw meat with us. Go ahead and save, and we will take on that quest next time. Thank you for watching, everybody. As always, I'm your host, Saigon. This is the Monster Hunter 3 Let's Play, and uh, I will see you guys in the future.